This will be a short tutorial on taking a four color background that was shot in a photo studio setting and turning it into a 100% background while keeping very much the same effect in place. Um, we're in Photoshop here and we have the image and as you can see if I drag the info palette it's we're dealing with a four color black. Uh, what we'll do now let me move this out of the way real quick as we are going to take our selection tool here so we could uh, circle the area and we're going to set a feather to uh, 40 pixels that'll give a pretty good um, circle around this image. And what we're going to want to do is kind of just surround this image a little bit here and bring it pretty tight to the image and then we'll want to go to select inverse and we're going to want to hit delete and as you can see it creates a haloing effect around there um, we'll go in layers we're going to want to create in layers a new layer and this would just be BG fill because we're going to fill the background 100% black. So now we go over to our paint bucket tool and we go down to our color selection and we make sure the C set at zero, the M set at zero, the Y set at zero, and the K set at 100%. And you'll click the paint bucket tool. Well, one click, I'll give you this haloing effect, which would look great if you were doing something that was kind of like for the church or something like that, but what we want is we want this black to kind of start creeping into the image much like it was before so if you just keep hitting the fill tool here you could see it closing that halo up and you may have just little small remnants of that halo at this point but that will fill up in newspaper printing due to 30 percent dot gain at this point, we have something that, if I bring my history in here now, the background set now at K being 100, no matter where I put my cursor. But if I go over here to the top right where it wasn't, you can see it's four color black. But there'll be no text set in this four color black over here. And that is pretty much how you do it. Uh, plain and simple, it still has that same feature, any type of light haloing that you have here which is very very little will be plugged up with a 30 percent dot gain in newsprint and now you've gotten rid of a four color background where you're going to reverse type out on it made it a hundred percent background and you could reverse your type out on it and go back to some of my other tutorials and you, you'll be able to see too uh, how to adjust this image to get this image set just right for newspaper printing and that's it if there are any other questions, uh, you can probably see a few of my other tutorials on my YouTube channel.